Sometimes you need to wait for data before you can use it in your app. Let's start with the button that executes three tasks. The second task should be asynchronous, so we want to request some weather data from a server. This data we cannot get immediately, instead we have to wait for it and make a network request. We simulate this request to the server by waiting for 3 seconds and after it we return this result. With this, if I click on this button, task 1 and 3 are executed immediately and after 3 seconds we also get this weather response. Now let's say the task 3 requires this weather result to accomplish its task. However, the weather result takes 3 seconds and before that we have already executed task 1 and task 3. Therefore, we need to wait for this second task to complete before we go over to the third task. And for doing this, you can simply await this future. And in your function header, you need to add the async keyword. With this, if we click this time on this button, the first task is executed. After 3 seconds, we execute the second task and we wait for this task to finish. After this task is finished, we continue with the third task. Next, we could also return this weather data after the future has completed and then it is going inside of this weather field that we can then use for the third task. Let's click again on this button. The first task is executed and also the second task to get the weather, which is then returned and is going into our third task. Next, we want to place this code that takes 3 seconds to execute into a separate get data method. Inside of this method, we are not returning this value right now. Instead, we wait for 3 seconds and after this, we return this value. And since we wait for 3 seconds, you need to add the async keyword to your method. And also the return type changes then to a future of type string. Let's again get our weather data. First of all, we execute the first task, then the second task and we get our weather. This time it prints for the weather instance of future string and this is because we return a future of type string. So this value we don't get right now, we get in the future and since we get it in the future, we also need to await this data. With this, if I click again on this get data button, then the first task is executed, the third task and we get again the right weather data that we have returned from this function.